Now then, let's... And now time... Now here's the part where I start dying a fuckload! Yeah, you've been disappointing me. You haven't been dying. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Dude. Just wait. I promise. Just wait. I swear to God. Wait till we wait till I get to Mortal Kombat 9 at some point. Then you'll see me die a lot. No, trust me. I'll get my revenge. Just, just wait. I'll wait till Chase plays Crash 3. That's gonna be glorious. Oh, I actually was watching Cody's playthrough of this, and he did not know how to do shit as him. <laughs> so I just went push down back, down back square. Oh yeah, his circle power is to make himself stronger. Fuck that move. Fuck you. But I mean, come on, Green Lantern should be the most powerful DC character. Yeah. Hell, if anything, a Green... There's a there's two things I've... Actually, to be fair, shouldn't the Flash also, so even though he has Speed Force, a thing that only he and other speedsters can go to? Technically, yes. Hell, Flash is technically one of the smartest characters because of the fact that he can... I can't remember, wasn't he like an Air Force pilot before him? I don't remember. I'm, I think, I'm confusing him with, um, Green, I mean with, um, Green Lantern. Now. I don't know. Green Lantern is because one of the things was that his dad was actually killed that way. By getting the plane and shit, by being the pilot. They reference it in this game. Don't be a dumbass. Except the help of the incredibly powerful guy with the alien technology. But seriously, the best you can come up with is a brick fucking wall. Next time open with that! Ordering shit. I am my friend. So did the land. I don't mind a cold in the last cell to go to talk to Steve. Ow. Fuck it, I'm not. No, this is not gonna be a play, repeat of my playthrough. Fuck you, bitch. I'm not giving you a chance to do shit now. Beat her up. There you go. But seriously, come on, you. It's the one thing about s some characters in comics, and it just aggravates the shit out of me. Crap! I can't do that now. Ooh. Like, uh, what's another one that's bad about that? Uh, oh, yeah, silver. That's, that's another good example. He has oh, telekinesis. Oh, we already have we already have a good representation of silver. It's called Raz from um, Psychonauts. No, you don't, bitch. Green Lantern Megazord power. Fuck you. Oh, and she says no. I'm not joking. Oh crap. Never on the first day. <laughs> That's funny. Fuck you. You need to 
leave. Just don't die for that joke. <laughs> and Aquaman did something useful. My people are getting flanked. Hold this line. We are rear guard. On it. And you? I'm the vanguard. Oh, look, he's back. This is actually gonna end up the same way it did on my Lost Boy channel, probably. You're getting your ass whooped? Actually, you know what? No, that would have been Cheetah. Cheetah beat the shit out of me. I'm also getting some experience from doing like a bunch of extra stuff, like uppercuts and stuff like that. Because you can level up your character in this game. All the way up to um, level 20. is that in the background? I don't know. I just noticed that. What is that? Oh yeah, he's actually part of the stage transaction if you could get if you could have him this. He had one more bar full than I did. <laughs> Alright, that ball was going nuts. Damn! <laughs> you almost lost. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Atrocitus. And Dexstar. Where the fuck is the ring at on that cat? I feel bad for that cat, though, because the reason why it's a Red Lantern is because it's all, the woman who was taking care of it got killed. It got thrown out of the house, and then before it and before the red line and the ring could reach it, it was in a bag about to be thrown over a river. Another interesting thing is that the Red Lanterns aren't necessarily evil. It's just that they're filled with rage and mostly they are pretty much spirits of vengeance. Also killed um. Oh yeah, he killed Guy Gardner. Hmm. It was either Guy Gardner or um John Stewart. Fucking 
If that's just hit me, what would happen if someone had on all the lantern rings? <laughs> Such a fucking gay chant. Yeah, but I still, I love hearing it though. There's different versions of it for different um lantern cores. I think the only one that doesn't have it is the white lantern and maybe the black lantern. Was it like the white lantern gods? No, the white along those lines? um the white lantern was the lantern of light. If you if you were to hurt the White Lanterns, um, what the White Lantern is basically formed from, which was the original, which was, in the DC universe is basically the original being, it would hurt everything. Oh yeah, that's right. White was uh, life and black is death. Mm -hmm. Lanterns of death were overpowered. It's all fuck. Oh, those fuckers were. I feel bad. That was actually a really fucked up storyline though, because every. Nearly everybody got fucked up in that one. The only thing I know about the Black Lanterns is they literally can use their imagination to kill people without actually manifesting things with their rings. It's not that. It's based that plus some um, of the Black Lanterns are basically the rings controlling the person. Oh. Yep. And they use the memories of that person basically to tear someone's emotion on um, someone's emotional heartstring, take their heart out, and then basically make them a Black Lantern as well. Is it the final countdown? <laughs> really? Yeah. It's a good song. For this for this game, no unfortunately for this game, no, because there's still a shitload more of it. It's just I like the story mode to this game. It beats the shit out of Street Fighter 4 story mode immensely. I mean Street Fighter 5 story mode immensely. Street Fighter 5 didn't have a story mode. It did. It's Originally just... it didn't have a campaign. I know that's because they shipped it out too fucking early, but when they finally did get the story mode, I'm just like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> now tell me why the hell is that Hulk Hogan guy not available yet? I don't know. He find, he actually is now. Alex is, in, is now in the game. It's weird. Dude, how long is this campaign? I think we're about halfway done. That's actually not that bad. The only sad thing is what Firestorm actually is. Firestorm is basically an, an old man inside of a teenage boy. Oh, that sucks. And at certain points, it's a girl in him. Made of an a Mexican with an alien, a black dude with a teacher. Hey, bitch! Superman both? That's not possible. 
So we're the only thing between crisis and apocalypse? Kill. I can keep behind that. He's fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That's that the whole point of this fuck. He gets smarter later on in his own books and stuff like that, but for where he is in the story now, he's a dumbass. Here's my question, why do you just douse the fucker in gold, I mean in, I mean the gold kryptonite sun thing? I don't know. So, that man's intellect is being wasted on that child, essentially, right? Yeah, pretty much. So I'm assuming when they fuse, it's kind of like, like DBC, mm -hmm. you combine your actually, everything. Actually, no, basically it's the kid's body because he's got the strength. And the professor was, t I mean, is helping him out with his intellect at the same time. But the, he's also still inside there as his own person. I think um, Batman Brave and the Bold has an episode dedicated to them, which explains everything a hell of a lot better. But uh, I'm willing to bet money that his, the kid's intelligence severely hampers the older guy. I, I would agree with you immensely, man. That doesn't mean anything, it's just his eyes reflecting off of the light of the red sun. Who would that be? Supergirl. Oh, the kid? Oh, that's bitch boy Robin. Oh. Uh -huh. Fucking hate him. Fuck it, Power Ranger, I mean Common Rider first. <laughs> That's basically what these guys are, Power Ranger's a Common Rider. Cause you can actually give them, a, I mean, a visor and everything. I'm assuming that's the previous Blue Beetle. No, Billy Batson was um, is um, Shazam. Oh. And for that, all I have to say to you is fuck you. May have to find a stopping point. I gotta get Andy dinner. All right, man. Oh, by the way, because I'm curious and I'm dumb. Why are they on Superman's side? Um, Shazam was basically forced to be. I mean, Black Adam was basically forced to be. Shazam was Shazam is basically a fanboy to the max. Wonder Woman because she loves Superman. Robin because hates Batman. Bane was in the first game because well, he he fucking hates Batman. Yeah, fair enough. A lot of hating Batman, I see. Yep.
No. So here's the question of all time. Why is there a special prison Superman's being held in and he's not being held in the Batcave? I don't know, actually. Because I don't think anyone knows where the Batcave is besides the heroes. And it's more defensible. The load his mother should have swallowed. Well, that's fucked up, bro. I said it during my playthrough and I still mean it. Fuck this guy. This is for Damien. I mean, this is for, um, this is, this is for Dick, you son of a bitch. So what is he supposed to be now? Like the Red Hood or some shit? R no, Nightwing. Red Hood is actually in this game as DLC. And unfortunately I already have him. He doesn't become Nightwing. Nope. Damien dies. That's the only thing. Dame is the only Robin never, I think, never to go on and do shit. He just fucking died before the world, I mean, DC reset it for the new 52. Didn't another, didn't Joker kill a Robin? Yeah, that was Jason Todd who became a Red Hood. I don't know anything about DC lore, hardly. Lord. I fucking refuse to lose this asshole. I expect there's gonna be a few comments stating I'm fucking retarded because I don't know DC. Yeah, same. Same here. In fact, let's see here. Fuck you! Yes! Alrighty then. It's a little overkill. <laughs> Don't you just love how they get back up to fall on their ass? Yeah, that's actually one of the things people keep complaining about in this game. They will flip, they'll do like all this stuff, fall down, get back up, and then go, ugh. It's because they can't show they're dead. Superman has at least one person in his life still. It's incest, by the way. Not that, not like that, you asshole. <laughs> you fucking failed at your one job. So basically that shit from the Thundercast why everyone else looks older than Lionel. <laughs> why Lionel's the only one fucking age. Maybe. I don't remember Cyborg being that smart. He has, he's always been. I don't... He was a football player raised by a scientist. That's what I was missing. Oh, there's actually a storyline where Cyborg basically, he was losing his uh, mind pretty much, and he slowly became like the uh, only computer and everything where his mind was basically lost to it. Oh. It's my favorite DC crossover between the Titan, between Titans and JLA, because in that crossover, nobody fucking died. <laughs> in fact, there was an anti-death, because this bastard got brought back to life. Oh, that's funny. Zero. Y'all still remember, Cyborg's fought Trigun, and here's the worst part for him. He think he believes all of his friends are dead now, except for, um... Actually, no, all of them he thinks are dead. Hmm, because they tend to... Raven's a, Raven's a servant of Trigun, Cyborg works for the Razine, Beast Boy fucking died, S Starfire's in the Phantom Zone,
Okay, my, I, I'm dumb. I was like, she's in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm like, oh no, that's the Shadow Zone or the Shadow Realm. I'll show off the black guy now. Fucking <laughs> Superman's bad hair. Sup, guys? Kick his ass, cyborg! It also. Wait a minute, it also just hit me. There's one thing that makes no sense about um, Starfire's ending in this game. In it, she pretty much pretty knows that she didn't know shit about um, his death. Which makes no sense considering the fact of that's the reason why um Superboy ran off. He saw and knew that he fucking died. No. Kick Fuck his you. ass. Kick his ass. You can do it. I believe in you. There you go. <laughs> Fuck you. <man. laughs> You can do it. Huh? You can do it. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Again, I play this game a lot. Let's wait until I have to fight the um. Why did he stay down? I don't know. Or try to kill us. Which is why he kicked your ass, which is why he had formed a plan to kick your ass last game that fucking worked. Well, granted, it was the other Batman, but still. Eh. No, I would like I would like to believe that um, I also like to believe that if um she was the last one um, on um on Blue Beetle, that she that the only thing he would say is nice rack. Wait a minute. <laughs> he can create kryptonite. Yep. Believe it or not, this actually comes up again later. That's badass. He only stabilized it for a little while, apparently, though. Make did, that shit golden next time! But did you hear? Kryptonians don't surrender. She got a point. They don't surrender. They just die. No, you don't, bitch. Apparently, she does. Fuck that move. I love using it. I hate when it's used against me. I I can understand that. In fact, that's actually how I begin to like have my fucking Supergirl matches. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you may have to admit that. Ultimate! Oh yeah, here's the thing, it also heals- No, no, no! I just wasted it, fuck! What, the clash? No, the blue thing. Oh. The clash I can do at any point. I'm not going to because I want to burn her. Fuck it. Well, that's gonna hurt. Oof. 
That took me half your health. No, you don't. No! No! No, that was stupid! Why'd you do that? I don't know! Fuck! You almost lost. I know! I was fixing to be happy. Fuck you, man. I was gonna be like, woo! How the fuck are you expecting to take down Wonder Woman? But this battle's over. Oh, you young idiot. What? A professor? That, that's crazy. Maybe he can control. But there's no other option. Get out of here, Heidi. Is he gonna create a supernova? Yep. No nuke, pretty much. What's up, bitches? Hello, people. Worthless pile of scum. And yet, none of them are trying anything. I've got a special kryptonite, piece of kryptonite with your name on it then, bitch! You're a secret I wish I'd never found out about. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I fucking hate Damien. But I refuse to play as him again until I get the dick stick. And by that mean the staff of Grayson, but everyone calls it the dick stick. You know, that's actually kind of funny, because in my, and, um, the stuff I used to write, I made it where my character wouldn't kill, but he basically went like, I understand these fuckers need to die. I'm not going to kill them. I'll help you weaken them, and you guys can kill them. I do like that statement, though. Batman is always three moves ahead. If not more. In this case, not really, because he doesn't become a step ahead until a second after this one. We can break out this cutscene. <laughs> Dude, we've been going for a while. Yeah, I'm just... Then why the hell doesn't he just fly to the fucking sun? That's an option, yeah. That's something they don't think of. Oh, I do love that color choice from Robin. It's called Damien's Regret, and it's basically Night... Because, well, fucking murder Nightwing. I think that's the alternate one. Oh man, I love what he fucking does with that. You are now, bitch. The fuck is that on his face? I think it's supposed. To, I don't know, actually. Something to protect him for some reason. Kara saw firsthand how Brainiac destroyed Krypton. She's 
A bunch of different characters can get it. Like, um, I know that, um, Damien can wear that. Huh. I think it's a Jogar or some shit like that. That's fucking great, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not yet. Damien, Adam, you're with me. And the rest of us? We can't we can't just sit here. We plan our attack. Once Brother Eyes online, we mobilize. Remember, out there, there's no regime. Not anymore. So we do not kill. I still can't wait for them to make Batman completely more badass, where he actually kills people. There's been yo, you mean back when he first started out? Remember, his no killing rule started didn't start until um Robin was introduced. Hmm. Before that point, he would fucking murder you. That's old and busted. Hmm. Forgot that was there. <laughs> Batman is the master of a lot of things. Fucking lying is not one of them. Oh, I bet he is. He wants to. And in this case, not so much. But there actually is a very touching scene at the very end between these two. I mean, I feel the whole purpose of leaving it there was to go, you remember what this meant? Uh, you remember what it used to be like, pretty much, before Joker, before you broke lost... Broke you? Yep. Succeeded in breaking the unbreakable Superman? <laughs> no, you, no, Joker's last words were, I know it's soon, but do you ever think you'll ever have a family again? <laughs> I fucking love that. It's fucked up, but it's still funny as shit to me. Hey, look, Scarecrow! Woo nope. Oh, Ivy. Yep. She's mine now. That's a fun game sounded. That does sound like some shit you <laughs> Oh! Yeah, we can't stop here. It might as well.